All right, guys, Supreme Kami here, and uh, we are going to be talking about what we are having for the uh, upcoming two weeks period here. So let me actually make this bigger. Um, I, I think I turned it down to like, you know, regular size. All right. So what are, what are we having for Sokai Fest? So let's kind of scroll down here. <laughs> okay. So as uh, far as the Sokai Fest, we're getting, we, we, we are back. Uh, it looks like we are back to two banners. Uh, one of them is new and then one of them is recycled it. So yeah, that's okay. So as far as we recycled it, we have the V2 Assault Buster Gundam. So I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about that one. Uh, that one has been out for ages already. But the other one, we got ourselves the Tall Strike Gundam Glitter. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is definitely a Strike Gundam base. You guys can definitely obviously see that already. Um, so I, I do wonder how this one looks like. We will kind of dive a little bit further you know going into the Gundam wiki to see what's going on but 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 this one <laughs> yeah uh for those who have been down in the game i i know i'm i'm part of them one as well like you know they haven't been really dropping anything new since last year right you know has been really slow uh, i get that but you know like especially those people that has been you know praying for this game down for whatnot um i think those people are definitely really toxic you know uh, i i know they have a new schedule or not but you know you, you still have to be positive right because this is you know quote unquote the only you know global based uh gundam mobile game I'm, I'm not gonna count the one that's you know on jp only uh i know they dropped like the you know what is it the iron blooded orphans one that one you can't really count that one because you have to download it it with a certain means where not a lot of people can uh there's so many other like you know you see engaged i can't count that one because not everyone globally can play it so this is the only technically the only official one that you can play without you know having to download some other apps to download the game so uh, instead of hating the game you know just if you don't want to play it just just don't play the game you know don't don't go on like social media like on reddit so like facebook groups and be like oh this game's dying you know it, it, it gets tiring you know um but you know haters gonna hate you know that's you know what, what can we do right uh but it's what three weeks now like three times in a row we getting a new new uh like a limited unit so um yeah so that's good uh obviously they are also those player that says you know Oh my gosh, they're dropping so many banner, new banners. I, I don't have hard chips. You have those players as well. So, um, so there's obviously good and bad for recycled it or a new unit. So you, you can never win. You, you can you can never satisfy the player base. But I'll I'll take it. New banner, I'll take that. I don't I don't really mind it. But all right, let's make this a little bit smaller. All right. Um, other than that, we have this. Uh, that was live. Uh, the shot of Asmo. This one is a. This one is a freebie, right? Get your shooting base unit. Get your ramage ready. You're you're set to go. Um, other news. So we have the what is it? Um, four star pilots. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't know how good they are, but I guess. Uh, in terms of the warfare, we are getting crossbone. Gundam X3. All right. So this one don't have a standard alteration yet. So I'm expecting, you know, within the next few weeks, next few months, this one should be getting one. Um, I don't remember on top of my head. Is there any like, you know, crazy EX skill from this one? I, I don't think there is. But cool poster there. That's that's definitely a really cool dynamic post for sure. Um, other news. So we do have the crew multi mission. So just you know a little bit more. Um, hard chips, not too many, obviously, but still, still some right there, and that is it. Um, so let's actually do take a look at the Tall Strike Gundam Glitter. Uh, this one is from the Gundam Build Fighter Amazing Ready. So once again, the Build Fighter series, the the Build Divers, they are carrying the game <laughs> thus far. All right, that's good. That is good. I mean, like, honestly, there's still so many manga based unit that they have not released yet. So the game, the game's still cooking. All right. The game is not dead. Uh, it's just however, however they want to handle it. You know, it depends on them, but okay. So this, okay. So the back part I'm seeing is still the original L strike back part. I assume, right? Um, in terms of looking at the arms, it, it it gives me that H2 vibe, like, you know, with those panels and stuff. The torso kind of gave me the vibe of the double O diver, or, right? 
I think that's the name of it. It, it, it gives me that vibes, right? So head part, how does the head part compare? Like I, I think initially when I saw that, it looks like an H3 to me. I, I don't know. It visually looks like it. Um, okay, okay. So it, it looks like it's just some color variation, but in terms of the side bindings, I look at it. So that's actually three chunks of it. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh wow, dual pistols. Oh, so the pistol looks like a cut off <laughs> rifle. Uh, they obviously have changed the scope. It's no longer like the round shape of it. So now it's like a uh, rectangle. Okay, I I guess. Oh, so it's a pistol plus a beam saber. Interesting design. All right. That's cool. Uh, so this is like the, I guess like the mod, or not the, like the magazine. Just, I guess, just kind of like going in depth of what it is, what not. Uh, oh wow, yeah. Looks not, it looks nice. Visually, it, it looks nice. Um, I don't know how it will play out in game. Um, the, like the unit to me looks really simple. So I don't know, are there any fancy cool EX skill? I, I assume there should be, right? Just something there. Wow, look at that. That looks that looks nice. Yeah. Looks good. Oh, and that's it. Um, yeah, they there's really not that many armaments. So I'm expecting the five parts for the overall units. Beam saber. So we might have these. So beam saber as the melee weapon, the shot pistol, or the short pistol as the range weapon. And what is that one? What is that? Is that like the arm things? I, I don't know, but uh, we might look. We might be looking at three additional parts that makes up for the you know uh, weapon trees and whatnot. But other than that, uh, do let me know how satisfied are you guys in terms of this overall unit. Uh, there's still tons more you know build series really other stuff that they have not dropped. Um, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people are fully aware of that. So. I mean, like they they could be cooking with these right now. Uh, that's good. Um, I'm I'm definitely excited for that. Uh, EXQ. I'm definitely trying to see what they can have. Right. Uh, that should be exciting part. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I'll definitely be doing some summoning, not on the V two. No, gonna strictly summon on the toss strike because that's the new one, and I I could care less about the V two because I do have it unless. Unless they, they, they out here trying to, you know, bring in a lot of, you know, good portrait. But if not, I don't really too, too much care, to care about the stats. Uh, maybe a new EX skill, who knows? So hopefully they do. That'll be, that, that'll keep me excited, right? But um, other than that, that's it for me. And then I'll catch y'all on a Tuesday night breakdown.